Hey guys, today I want to share with you another great low cost way to upgrade the look of your bathroom. Now we've installed a crown molding here, you can see behind me, but it's not just any old crown molding. Now pay attention because here's where the builder secret comes in. We've actually taken two inexpensive pieces of material and combined them to make a much beefier, more expensive looking crown molding and it's easier to install. So what we've done is we've taken a colonial base molding. This comes in pine or an MDF. Um, it comes pre-primed. You can see the profile at the top and uh, it's about three inches tall. What we've done is we've installed it uh, upside down, about one inch down from the ceiling. And then we've taken our crown molding and we've installed that on top of it. So that's, that's how it comes together, okay? And from the face, that's what it looks like when you're inside the room looking up at it. And that's what we have here. So it's an inexpensive, two inexpensive, easy to find products. This, this uh, colonial base can be found uh, as cheaply as like 40 cents a lineal foot, which is very inexpensive. Uh, the crown is, is very inexpensive. It's a smaller crown. And if you make a mistake on a cut, it's not as expensive for you. Um, the look is neat. It's big, it's beefy looking. It really enhances the look of your space. Um, so what I'd like to do now, let's, let's take a look at how we went about installing it. So the first thing we did was paint the ceiling. That way we don't have to cut it in once the trim is installed. We also went ahead and painted the trim. That way we only have to touch it up uh, once it's installed. Our bathroom has only inside corners and one of the best ways to make those corners tight is with the uh, coping saw. Here's a look at our coping saw if you're not sure what I'm talking about. So for our inverted base molding, we just cut the profile of the adjacent piece of trim into it so that it sits flush with it in the corner. You can see here how the two pieces fit nicely together and form a 90 degree angle or close to it. The nice thing here is if the drywall corner isn't exactly 90 degrees, the trim will still fit nicely. Most drywall corners aren't exactly 90 degrees, so this really is the best way to make a tight joint. So we're going to install the longest piece of trim first and it's just going to be cut square on both sides. Uh, there's no coping on the first piece. And then we're just going to make our way counterclockwise around the room. So the right side of each piece of trim will be coped and the other side will be just a square cut. So we've decided to drop our inverted base molding down one inch from the ceiling. We felt like that gave us the best look between the, uh, the crown molding and the reveal for the inverted base. We think it makes the best look for our project. So once we're done installing the inverted base, we go ahead and caulk the corners just because it's easier to do that now before the crown molding's in the way. Then we install the longest piece of crown molding. Again, both ends are going to be a square cut uh, for the first piece we install. Then we work our way counterclockwise around the room, coping the right hand side of each piece of trim. So as you can see here, the left hand side of the trim is going to be a straight cut and the right side is a coped cut. So each piece is going to be the same way, coped on the right and then square cut, a straight cut on the left. And that's if you go counterclockwise. If you go clockwise, it'll be exactly the opposite. One other builder tip, use a high strength quick set glue on the bottom and top edge of that crown molding and then just use enough nails to hold it in place until the glue dries and that crown won't move once that glue sets up. Your last piece of crown molding is going to be the most difficult to install because you've got to cope cut both sides of it. So just take your time, make sure you measure three or four times, take your time cutting it and you'll be fine. Then we go back, putty the nail holes, caulk the corners, and we should be good to go. We welcome you to come out to armchairbuilder.com and sign up for our free monthly newsletter. We've got some great builder tips and secrets that we share every month. So come on out and sign up.